do you have to be do you have to have a fucked up life to be a comedian? No, oh, yeah. I, well, you personally, I don't think you do. I mean, I because I never had a fucked up life myself. Well, you know, a lot of a lot of comedians you'll listen to them and they'll say, you know, uh, or comedians think that. We do comedy because our life sucks, you know. Right, and it's our release. Yes. And it's our therapy. Right. right. Whenever we go up on stage. And, I mean, I believe that to a degree. I mean, otherwise, they wouldn't have chosen to be a stand-up comedian. Um, I'm not saying anything there, specifically. I actually, um, no, it makes sense, because if we were perfect, we'd be like a lawyer. Yeah, well, <laughs> I mean, we'd have made something with our lives, is the point. Um, <laughs> what I'm really getting at... What I'm, what I'm getting at is, I mean, obviously, there's something about our lives that stands out, something that at least irks us in a fashion, whether it has to do with something personal that happened, or even if it's just the way that, you know, our life around us is being run. I think that, you know, what you need to be a comedian is an interesting take on life, uh, a different way to look at things, and maybe uh, having crazy experiences. Yeah. Enables you to do that. Oh, absolutely. Alright, what's up, man? It's my man, Mellow Mike. What's up, Mellow? Hey, Hey, uh, I got a question, man. Comics always say that for you to be funny, you have to have a fucked up life, man. What you think about that? My life is fucked up. You don't have to, but, uh, I don't know, for some dark reason, it helps. Some of the funniest ones are, uh, pretty fucked up in the head. So, that's why I'm okay funny. I'm not too fucked up. What's up, Eric? My man, uh, Eric Merger. What's going on, Eric? Like I'm in an 80s video. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Eric, man, what you think? You think uh, as a comic you have to have a fucked up life for you to be funny? Um, I don't know. I mean, I think it helps. I think at least if part of your life's fucked up, it helps. Like, if you have a fucked up family or a fucked up relationship. Like, I think that helps. I don't think your whole life has to be fucked up. It's definitely a part of it. Do you think you have to have a fucked up life to be funny as a comedian? No. Nah, it helps to be under six foot. This is my man, Steve. They're, gonna, you. they're doing a cockumentary. Okay. Ah, <laughs> and the cocks just showed up. <laughs> Here's the stunt cock. Do you think that as a comedian, you have to have a, uh, a fucked up life to be funny? Uh, there's definitely uh, a general insecurity. I feel like, well, yeah, like something among comedians that makes them want to go up there and I don't know what it is. I don't, I don't know. But, uh, something. I don't think it's like what, maybe boy? not enough hugs or something. <laughs> I think it goes down to that. All right, Colton, man, I'm trying to figure out. You know, people say that, hey, you know, as a comic, you have, if you want to be a good comic, you have to have a fucked up life. Do you, do you agree with that? Partially. I think you have to have a fucked up life, or you can make up a fucked up life. <laughs> So so you so if you can if you can make up something fucked up about your life or so you think that's what comedy is about? That's what people like laugh people like laughing at. You have to have a keen sense of observation. You have to know what's fucked up about your life. You can I mean people have fucked up lives and they become homeless. But if you know it's <laughs> fucked up about yourself and you can point it out and make people laugh about it, that's that's the key, right? If you're good at picking on people. Yeah, and just talking about other people's fucked up lives and why you think it's crazy. It's also a a funny life. Yeah. Comedy, life funny. Hey, these guys are dropping like comedy gems, you know what I'm saying? Bow. Bang! Bam. Hey, you don't need to, hey, uh, if after you watch this, uh, keep the PayPal button and you can go ahead and send me $10 for this <laughs> impromptu comedy class that's making you better. Right. All right, man. Shane, you know, uh, a lot of people say that for comedy to be funny, Comedians must have a fucked up life, man. What do you think about that? Um, yes and no. Because everybody, it's not about how fucked up your life is, it's just your point of view. And everybody has a different point of view, but at some level, it connects. And that's where the funny is. Like, you can have the most mundane life, but there's gonna be stuff in that life that's weird enough to somebody else that's hilarious, you know? So I think that people say you have to have a fucked up life, I don't think it's true. Same thing, different day, my friend. What about what about you? What do you think, man? You think as a comedian you have to have a fucked up life to be funny? No, but I think we all have fucked up lives. So, yeah. <laughs>
Like you don't need it, but that's what it is. So hey, right? Yeah, it's 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 what you're you were born, your life's fucked up. Congratulations. Some of you are at fucked up lives that are funny. That's it.